Hey everyone, uh, I just saw Studio 666 in the theaters, and, um, oh god, I have no idea what to say here. Allow me to preface by saying that I am not a Foo Fighters fan. I'm not really a fan of alt-rock in general. I am a metal fan. I like, I mean, the closest I get to alt-rock is stuff like Alice in Chains or Jane's Addiction or, uh... I don't know, insert a band here. I, I can't think of one. The point is, um, I'm not really a fan of the Foo Fighters. I don't hate the Foo Fighters. Uh, just not exactly my cup of tea, really. Um, so when I found out that they were doing a movie, a horror movie, no less, I had absolutely no idea what to think here. This just seems to me, this just seemed to me like, a very bizarre idea. Well, not too bizarre. It's not like something like this hasn't been done before. I mean, movies starring bands playing themselves has, has been done before. The Beatles have done it. Uh, oh god. I guess Metallica kind of did it that one time in 2014. Remember that? Uh, and I can't really think of anything right now, but I'm definitely sure it's been done so many other times before. The point is, uh, in this movie, Studio 666, the Foo Fighters, as themselves, uh, are going to a sort of haunted-ish mansion uh, in Encino, California, to record their 10th album. And um, are basically accosted by the supernatural and Dave Grohl gets possessed by a demonic musician to finish a satanic song that will bring about hell or something. And that's at least what I gathered. Um, it's sort I mean, I'm not exactly the great at delivering premises here, but the point is that's basically the movie in general. It's a horror comedy starring the Foo Fighters where they go to a haunted mansion and find a haunted and Dave Grohl finds a haunted record and gets possessed by the musician of said record to finish his satanic song to bring about I have no idea hell the end of the world whatever the point is um this movie sucks just to put it bluntly this movie is terrible oh god it's it uh ah uh, god this is one of the worst movies I've seen. Uh, this is definitely the... This is one of the worst... Nah, no, this is, this is definitely the first bad movie I've seen this year in theaters. Because I've seen a few bad ones last year, but... Um, definitely this one is the benchmark for all the bad movies to come out this year. Wait, this year. Um, uh, so first off... This is not really a Foo Fighters movie. It's a Dave Grawl movie. It's a Dave Grawl ego trip masquerading as a parody of rock star ego trips. That's what it feels like to me. This, I mean, the Foo Fighters, the other band members don't really even feel like they're in it. I mean, none of them are actors, and you tell that. I mean, <sighs> I mean, Dave Grohl's the only one that actually feels like he cares about what's going on on screen. And the other actors, the actual actors that do appear in the movie, are barely in it at all, so... You know... It's not like anything is gonna, is vying for, like, a genuine performance here, but then again, it doesn't really matter. Um, the point is, is that Dave Grohl definitely is... Um, the only one trying here, and it feels like he's the only one that really cared about this. Uh, I mean, especially with how the movie ends, I can't imagine that the band was exactly happy about that, because Dave Grohl, uh, kind of helped write this story, so, yeah, it feels very, very ego-driven, but I can't exactly be the judge on that, but that's how it plays out in my head. 
Um, the best things I can say about this movie is that the music is decent. And that's only because... That's only because the Foo Fighters aren't really playing any Foo Fighters-y music. Like, they, they're playing metal. They're playing what is feels like a hybrid of, like, Doom Metal a la Sabbath or even The Sword. Or mixed with some kind of, like, thrashy influences. Which is cool by my standards. Hell, from what I heard, Dave Grohl actually recorded an entire metal album under the fictional band mentioned in the movie called Dream Widow, and is supposed to release it sometime soon. I will definitely check that out, but still, um, if that's, I mean, that's definitely the only, one of the only things holding this movie together is, like, seeing some of these, mu with some of these musical performances. And, like, you see the band practicing some of this music, and, you know, you see, wait, there's a scene where Dave Grohl rips an entire guitar solo, just, you know, completely shreds it up, or whatever. I don't know. Um, just completely, wait, just plays a completely shreddy technical guitar solo. And I was wondering if Dave played that himself, but nope! If you, if you pay attention until the credits of the movie, it there's a credit that says stunt that... Ah. God damn it. I am mumbling. There's a credit that says Stunt Guitar, which credits it to Steve Vai, so I imagine that he played the guitar solo for that scene. I mean, it helps. Steve Vai is a much better musician than anyone in the Foo Fighters. I don't care who is going to at me in the comments. If anybody ats me in the comments, no one watches my videos. Um, if anybody ats me in the comments about, like, you know, Dave Roll being some kind of, I don't know, musician's messiah or whatever the fuck. Uh, I don't care because Steve Vai is definitely a much better player than, than Dave Grohl will ever be. So don't at me on that. Ugh. Anyways, there's a few funny bits in this movie, but most of the fun, most of the humor in this movie feels really forced and awkward. I hesitate to use the word cringe because it's overused to death on the internet. And, um, but there's really no other word for it. You know, it's total cringe in a lot of, in a lot of ways. Uh, like, you can tell they're really trying. And it definitely comes off as trying way too hard with some of these jokes. Uh... I can't even really think of a whole... I can't even really think of a scene, specific scene. Um, but I can definitely tell you that Dave Grohl is really trying his ass off to make these jokes or make these funny scenes that he does funny. And it just doesn't come off that way. It just comes off as awkward. It just comes off as really cringe. <clears throat> but, anyways... There was a couple funny bits in the movie. Um, I guess, like... Oh, God, what, 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 what can I say about this? Again, I can't even pinpoint... I can't even really pinpoint those. Okay, now... Okay, uh, there was a scene in the movie where, like... Uh, they're reading this Necronomicon stand-in to see what kind of devil powers or demonic powers that... Uh, <clears throat> Dave Grohl has and they list off a bunch of stuff and they show a little clip of him doing said stuff like uh, throwing up profusely or levitating that kind of got a laugh out of me because you see Dave Grohl levitating in the background of one scene of that scene and it's kind of funny that's really about it um, I guess there's one other scene where like uh no, there's really not much else now that I really think about it. There's not a whole lot of scenes that really make me laugh here. I mean, there's a whole running gag in the movie where Dave Grohl does a Pearl Jam high five uh, with the band, which I just thought was like, what the fuck is this? I mean, I get that they're from Seattle. I get that, you know, they share a lineage with them, but like, what the fuck is this? It's, 
it's just it's not it's not funny random it's just random <sighs> i don't know there's a i mean there's a couple gory kills in this movie like literally a couple maybe well maybe two or three and they're fine there's they're probably the best parts of the movie is seeing some of these gory kills they're fine but like i'd rather be watching something like i don't know that chainsaw scene at the end of the Evil Dead remake. That was a way better kill than any kill in this movie. Or, uh, nah, I can't really think of any examples. The point is, uh, few good kills. They're fine. They're passable. Uh, decent amount of blood. Doesn't seem to be CG blood, so I can't exactly say if it is or not. But, um, Still, it definitely looks decent on screen. <sighs> but really, this movie just... I mean... Outside of, like, the... Outside of, like, our band not being able to act. And our singer basically being a giant hyperactive, uh... I don't know. Uh... I'm not good with coming up with names. The point is, Dave Grohl just acts like a giant man-child throughout this movie. And I'm guess I mean, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be, like, you know, an exaggerated sort of performance. And that this is probably some kind of parody of rock star ego-centric type projects. But it doesn't really have anything to say about stuff like that. Nor does it really play into anything. This is trying to basically just be a straight up horror comedy. And it's like, like, why are you, ah. why does it feel like you're trying to say something when you're not, if that makes any sense? Like me right now, I'm not being able to talk here. Um, anyways. All in all, though, I mean, I've seen probably worse horror comedies, but I just think this is such a bizarre idea. What the fuck do the Foo Fighters, like, have to do with, like, a horror movie? I mean, I get if it was something fun they wanted to do, but this feels more like it was Dave Grohl's, Dave Grohl's baby that he wanted to do and roped the other band members in it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. All in all, I'd probably give it about a 2 out of 5. Maybe it, and that's generous, because there is a few decent parts in this movie that kind of got me, got a bit of a chuckle out of me. But really, like, I'm this is definitely not something I'm going to watch again. <sighs> if you're a Foo Fighters fan, you might enjoy it. I don't know. Um, but if you like horror comedies as they are, there's, there's not much to enjoy. The humor is not very funny. There's not really a whole lot of, like, decent kills. I mean, there's a couple, but, I mean, there, there's not even really a body count. There's, like, two or three people die. Um, well, maybe about four or five. But even then, like, only two of them have decent death scenes. And, I mean, it's not good at really being scary or funny, so it's not like it matters. I'm just wondering exactly who this was made for. Foo Fighters fans? I mean, that's definitely the... I mean, that's definitely who I'm sure this was made for, but, like, not entirely sure, like, outside of the bizarre premise, what they would get out of this. <sighs> but, regardless, someday I do... I, I might do an actual video on it. I don't know. Um... These are just my initial thoughts. I've never done like a whole vlog review right now. Unless you count my first two videos, which are basically that, but. <sighs> Anyways. That is all the time I have for tonight. Um, I definitely hope to get that new episode posted to y'all soon. And, uh. I don't know how to end this. See ya.